We started on September the 24th in uh, Queenston in Niagara and it's 885 kilometers and we hope to finish on October the 30th uh, and on that occasion uh, we hope to dress up as the Avengers and cross the finish line. <laughs> Pleased to share with everyone that as of today, we've just crossed over the $180,000 mark. So we're just we just got hope that we're going to be able to do extremely well, and we're just really pleased that everybody was participating, and the individuals we've called upon are, are responding really positively, and for a lot of reasons. But it's because of you guys. We're very lucky because now with access to uh, cellular phones and also to video technology, we're able to speak to our families anytime we want. When we were in Antarctica and at the North Pole, we had to use big satellite phones, but now it isn't that hard to contact our families. Well, I started to train about half a year ago. Started to, to go for a walk, uh, and in the beginning I walked for three kilometers four kilometers and five kilometers and then build on that and at the end I walked uh, 15 to 20 kilometers <coughs> not every day every other day or every third day just to be prepared lots of vegetables um, protein bars fruits uh, just all the good stuff that you need and that's what we every day we have the same thing and we drink lots of water when we're on the trail because you got to stay hydrated. It changes every day, it changes every 500 meters. In some areas we're going up and down hills with riverbeds, in other areas we're walking through farmers fields, at times we're walking on the road, but the whole trail is close to 900 kilometers and every kilometer is a new adventure. And you're all so lucky because you all live right near the Bruce Trail, um, near most of your schools, within a few kilometers. And it doesn't take anything. It doesn't even take a backpack if you're going for a short hike. It just takes a good pair of running shoes and to go with somebody else to make sure you stay safe. But uh, having the Bruce Trail in our backyard is an absolute gift. I've had my heart rate monitor on every day. And on average, I've done 2,500 calories per day during the walk. It's quite a lot. Usually, if I, if I don't do any physical exercise, I probably burn 1,600 calories. So walking a lot really adds to that. So that's why you have to eat and you have to think about what you eat. So far, we've seen a few deer, uh, lots of squirrels, and snakes and well naturally birds and 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 uh, well I think that's about it. We have seen a lot of hawks yeah. in fact at the Beamer conservation area in um, in in Beamsville and I'm sorry in Grimsby uh, they've got a, a big perching area where pe people can go see the hawks and because of the gorge it's one of the preeminent places to go see birds and they have the red hawk sighting festival of some sort out there, but there's tons of hawk out there, it's huge. We have a lot of technology with us, not just to communicate, but also to be able to help us to post to our website, Bruce Trail, Bruce Trail for Kids.ca, where we are at any, at any individual moment. But, you know, we also have our day planned out, which already tells us that if we start here and finish here, that that should be 33 kilometers. But then we validate it by using GPS watches, and then we also have GPS uh, 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 receivers that then transmit to our cell phones to a website. So you can go on it at any time, and it'll tell you exactly where we are at 2 o'clock on the 9th of October. Then we want to use that technology as much as possible so we can communicate to everybody, and also just to, to see just how how cool it could be to be able to use that technology and communicate better. We have not, but we expect that once we get north of Orangeville and we get into the Blue Mountain areas that we'll probably see some black bears and we'll probably carry a little bear spray with us just in case they get a little unfriendly. Uh, but you know what, uh, black bears, you gotta be careful, but we'll, we'll see some, I'm sure we will. I got to tell you, it's one of the most extraordinary things uh, to be 30 days in a row 
able to go out on the trail and to see the beauty that we get to see is is been it's been outstanding. And uh, yes, we're tired, and yes, we're burning a lot of calories, but uh, I couldn't ask for anything better to do because we've had great weather. And with good weather to walk outside, it's uh, it's a it's a peaceful feeling. Thank you.